1988, there was a new craze sweeping arcades everywhere. Much like Beatlemania, but this involved werewolves. Nah, just kidding. But Altered Beast was very popular in the arcades, and that popularity saw it translated into the home console world in many forms, and here is the Sega Genesis form. As we can see, it comes in a nice nifty case that holds your cartridge and instruction manual. Very nice for Sega to make it like that, unlike other manufacturers. Rise from your grave. And as you've probably guessed at this point, Altered Beast is a basic beat-em-up. You just walk around and beat the shit out of everything. Now, it wasn't necessarily the greatest beat-em-up on the block, but it did have an interesting feature, and that was your power-ups. You got these little power-ups that made you change from a normal man who was risen from the grave to a stronger man risen from the grave, and then up to a uh, Superman risen from the grave. Power and then the last power-up, you can see I'm the Superman there, the last power-up transforms you into some kind of animal, and each stage is a different animal. Hence the title Altered Beasts. And uh, the first stage you turn into a werewolf. Oh! Welcome to your doom. There are five stages in the Sega Genesis version of Altered Beast, and each stage ends in an end boss. This is the end boss for stage one. This giant devil looking guy that throws devil heads at you. Pretty scary stuff. Now, Altered Beast, uh, I'm not sure about the arcade version, but the Sega version, it's not a very long game. There's only five stages, like I said. And uh, stage one you can beat um, from beginning to end in about two or three minutes. Um, the stages aren't very long. That could have something to do with all the memory being used up for things like graphics and uh, uh, synthesized voice. Um, all kinds of little neat features uh, that make the game very flashy, but um, ultimately take away from gameplay by using up a lot of memory. And since the game is so short, um, I guess the game makers decided to make it more challenging by not including uh, virtually any power-ups for your health. Um, I, I only played the game for about, uh, oh, 20 minutes um, when I did this review. And I hadn't played it in many, many years. So I, I don't remember if there's any health power-ups, but I certainly couldn't find any on the uh, first two stages of the, of, of the game. There's the... Uh, there's, there's the uh, usual amount of um, Alter Beast power-up deals, but nothing out there to rejuvenate your health. So I guess that's their way of making the game, uh, I guess, in effect longer, because if you if you screw up, basically you got to start over from the beginning. There's no continue in this game either. Welcome to your doom. I don't know. I, th I personally feel like they went a little overboard with the smoke effect. I mean, come on. That went on for like 30 seconds. Anyhow, here's the end boss for stage two. Um, yeah, you can see both stages are like, you know, three minutes tops get from beginning to end. So yeah, Alter Beast for the Sega Genesis. Not quite as good as the arcade version. But then again, in 1989, there rarely was anything as good as the arcade version except the arcade version. So, there you have it. I'm Dami from Classic Games Revisited. Until next time.